Hello everyone, my name is Ant. And on my channel I already have two videos about the Halo. This video was about like my experience of working with Halo, like how to prepare neural network, what are general ideas behind, what are general rules and so on. Uh, but I never actually touch Halo myself. It was all like remote projects where, where I uh, had a connect to Halo. So recently I ordered Halo myself and decided to test it a few things that were pretty interesting to me. And this video will be about all these tests. So what was curious for me? There was a few stuff. First of all, how hard to use Halo for different boards? Like not Raspberry Pi, but we are taking a random ARM board, will Halo work on it or not? The second question, how Halo inference speed is depend on PCI Express bus, like for example PCI Express.2 or like uh, it's two lines or more, how does it work? In? And uh, the third point, like does the speed of the processor on this board will change somehow like PCI Express line speed, like will it affect the speed of inference? So I have a big collection of different boards and for this video I decided to check a few of them. First of all, of course, it's like Raspberry Pi 5, which is like the main board for this Halo V8L. Of course, it's like M2 head for Raspberry Pi with, uh, with the Halo. Uh, second board is uh, Rockchip 3588. Uh, specifically, this is Nano PC T6 from Friendly Alec. Uh, also, there is Rockchip 3568 uh, Rock 3A from Radxa. Also, it's Vim3 from Hades, and it's Huawei uh, Ascent board, uh, specifically this is Orange AI Pro. So, and definitely it's like, was super interesting. And among all this board, the only board that finally didn't work for me, I like spent a lot of time, but Halo didn't work. It was this Orange Pi AI Pro. Uh, how to run Halo chip on all of these boards? There will be independent article. I will append link in the comments in a few days. But if you want to check this article when it will be out, please subscribe to my LinkedIn or Telegram channel. It will be fresh when it will be ready. Uh, but in this video, I will talk a little bit more about speed of all of these boards, how does it affect, and like the plain results of my experiments. So uh, let's start from the basics. I will benchmark with a simple Halo command. It will be like a Halo RT CLI run command. I will focus on batch size 1, but also will, will run a few type, uh, tests with batch size 8. In my opinion, like batch size 1, it's the most common batch size that's pretty often used. And batch size 8, it's like batch size with the maximum speed if you need somehow to improve your speed. Also, uh, I tested uh, all these boards like just in case with the Python script and the speed was almost exactly the same. So uh, to be consistent, I just will show you result from this highly RT CLI command. I will measure only the inference part for all the neural networks that you will see uh, down there. Uh, of course, it's not like the full correct speed for such networks, for example, for YOLA networks, you have NMS architecture. For some different networks, 
it may be much more complex like post-processing part and of course it can be pre-processing part which especially can be done on Halo chip but of course it's like pretty complex topic about uh, how to measure the real uh, speed and it will be heavily affected on the uh, CPU of such boards so I exclude this part of calculation here so it's the plain speed of the neural network so here is the table uh, and just in case here is like a little bit different uh, version of this table where I normalized everything to Raspberry Pi speed uh, to compare like which boards are faster which uh, how they are working and as you can see uh, the first uh, interesting point the speed doesn't affect it by CPU unit specifically these two boards uh, both of them it's like uh, rock chip boards this is 3568 um, uh, and this is uh, 3588 like CPU on these units it's like four time different like has a four time different performance so but as you can see the speed for Halo inference is completely the same but what is more important it's of course amount of lines and PCI Express protocol for this Halo there is only one PCI Express.2 uh, PCI line and uh, it's like two almost two times slower than Raspberry Pi and of course like um, both of these boards support this Halo unit uh, completely all two lines but also as you can see uh, specifically this board it has four PCI Express lines by but they are not utilized but of course if you will take like uh, Halo V8 with eight lines there are such models then the speed will be much faster than specifically this one so uh, when you are working with Halo the main limited factor for you will be specifically the your PCI Express line so uh, if we will look a little bit deeper in this table uh, you can catch that uh, speed is heavily affected by the neural network and this speed differences so for some uh, neural network that are like pretty nice for halo for example like restnet 50 uh, the speed uh, is almost proportional but of course like if it's super fast neural network the speed will be like uh, more dependent on some internal factors of like um, transferring data and preparing data and it, it's the same actually for all the boards but when you're working with bigger boards the speed not so heavily affected uh, maybe but by PCI Express but more affected by complexity of the model but if the model will be super big and will require a lot of uh, like transfer in and out of Halo memory then probably it also will be more affected on like PCI Express speed uh, let's uh, discuss a little bit about batch size as you can see batch size ACE can dramatically increase speed of the Halo like almost eight times like not eight almost five times uh, but it's also super affected of the neural network and of course it's also affected on like PCI Express bus so the bigger your bus the faster everything will be uh, but of course it's uh, like mm, in some corner cases there will be no big for small network there will be no real difference even with batch size and with uh, big uh, like bus let's summarize all of this uh, as I expected it's super important what the width of your PCI Express bus uh, which uh, I was not expected that for some network is it's directly proportional to uh, amount of traffic so Halo is pretty optimized platform and it's more dependent on this communication than on the 
inference. Uh, so the main uh, bottleneck is uh, communication for most of the network. Uh, which led me to a strange understanding that uh, there is a new uh, Raspberry Pi hat with Halo 8. And it's super strange for me because Raspberry Pi 5 has only one PCI Express line. Uh, but Halo 8 has four of them. So basically the speed for most of the networks will be the same that with this Halo V8L model. And it's a little bit strange. I hope that it means that Raspberry Pi will release a new Raspberry Pi with PCI Express X4 line, which will be great, of course. Uh, but right now, if you are working with Halo with Raspberry Pi, probably it's not the best idea to buy Raspberry Pi AI Hat Plus. Uh, what is also important that uh, I checked how easy to work with Raspberry Pi on, div on the different platform. You will get this from my article that will be later. Of course, like Raspberry Pi is the easiest one. Uh, and for almost for all other boards, there was a lot of problems and complexities. Maybe the easiest one of them was uh, this Radx, but almost for each one of them, I reinstalled the system a few times. I searched for working systems. I searched for like um, some parameters of such boards. And it was pretty complex part. But it's like doable among uh, five boards that I have with uh, PCI Express bus. Easily accessible, only one didn't work. So it's pretty nice percentage that almost all boards should work without any problems. So um, I will meet you in the article, I hope. Subscribe. And when there will be some LLM release from Halo, I will also benchmark Halo for LLMs. Thank you for watching. Bye.